I recently got this Atari 1050 disk drive off eBay, of course, and uh, powered up. Powers up, but it doesn't seek. The head should move back and forth. You'd hear a grinding like, arr, arr, sound, you know, but no, it doesn't do that. Uh, so I took it apart, and I'm going to show you what I did. Hang on. All right, so I noticed off the bat that, looking at it, I think that's a, uh, oh, I can't remember what that is. Uh, I looked it up. I don't think it's a resistor. It's something, it's. I want to say a transducer. I don't remember, but uh, it, it looks like it's burned out. Uh, maybe it is a resistor. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up again. But it's... I uh, can't see that. But it was clearly burnt. There's even a spot on the board. Where did I get that thing at? Oh, oh, right there. Where is this the point with? Where am I at? Uh, right there. I lost it. Oh, right there. You can actually see when it when that blue it, there's a little burnt mark on the on the board there. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good shot. So it went from like right there to right there. So I snipped that off because that was easy, right? Uh. I haven't replaced it yet. I've, I've got to get a replacement part for that. I haven't done yet. But I knew that wasn't going to solve the problem. Uh, because I checked the the voltage and uh, you know, like the 7812 and the 7805 which are basically they'll reduce power Right, so if you put 12 volts into them, like 705 will reduce it down to 5 volts. I'm not an expert. Okay, so, you know, <laughs> if you want to put harsh critical comments in, that's fine. But I, I don't claim to be an expert. They're, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, regulators, I think. Voltage regulators, anyway. So like a 7805 will reduce like 12 volts to 5 volts and the 7812 will reduce like 15 volts to 12 volts. You get the picture. Okay, so anyway, I checked, uh, let's see this one, and it was only getting like 5 volts out. And I'm, you know, I'm thinking, no, that ain't right. So I checked the input, and it was like almost 7, 6 point something, almost 7 volts input so all right it's not getting enough power so it couldn't drive the it couldn't drive the drive motor uh the the head would seek a little bit it would go like eh, eh. but the drive motor wouldn't it wouldn't get enough power to, to turn all right so I did a little bit of online research, you know, like you do, and figured out that, well, I think, I think it's this big giant capacitor that was right here. You can't see that in there. Ah, right there. It was right there. So, that is this guy. So I took that out. I'm thinking that's the problem. So I've got one of these on order. Well, 
couple, but uh, I'm thinking this is bad. And I tested it with a multimeter. I tested all three of these in circuit. And this one was acting kind of weird. And I thought, okay, it's probably this one. And when I took it out, I noticed that it's, it's bulging pretty bad on the bottom. You couldn't see that, you know, when it was inside. You know, the top looks fine. But the bottom, that's pretty bulgy, you know. So I'm thinking when I replace this, it'll fix it. Uh, and plus what I looked up online, I think that's, people recommend this because I think this is doing the, uh, oh, the way the circuit's set up in here, it's supposed to be like doubling the power when it first comes in. I think that's right. Like I said, I'm not an expert, so hopefully this will fix it. Um, so when I get another one, I'm going to pop it in there, see what it does. The drive should, you know, eh, eh, do that beginning thing. I don't know. And this, uh, I'm still going to get one of these. And I got to look it up again because I forgot what it was. When I first seen it, I thought it was a resistor, but no, I think it's, uh, oh, I want to say a transducer, but I know that ain't right. <laughs> I don't know. It's, you know, it's like, has the same effect as if you wrapped, uh, something with a lot of wire for the magnetic thing. I don't, I don't know. I got to look it up. All right. So this is going to be like a part 1A to a video. I want to get this disk drive working. And yes, I've got the the right power supply. 9 volts AC, 31 amps. So that should be plenty of amps for this thing. Because I know there's probably some Atari people out there going, Dude, you know how your power supply is too weak. Oh, I think this is the power supply it's supposed to have. Right. If I'm not mistaken. So we'll find out. 